of time here. Uh, he does have a lot of regen with Quas. He's not going to die, but last hitting is going to be difficult. But the good news for him is he's already getting help, and he goes in with the tornado now. I'm going to force out the blink from Blink himself. The Earth Spirit started there to help secure the lane. So he's not being left entirely on the island, but look at this pod. Uh, yeah, they, 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 they want to go in the eye with the Rolling Boulder in as well. This is trouble for Wink, and it looks like they might lose it. It's just no tether. Able to at least try to get alive, but too much damage coming out. Wink will lose yet another hero with that aggression. And Dubu rotates up top early to get back to no armor reduction. They'll lose your orb in, they'll see Febby. And now it's time for MVP to escape the pit. There's the surge out. Jump in for QO, though he wants to go on Blake with the Shadow Word. And another Stifling Dagger crit coming out for QO. They have relocate. Remember, Wayne's effectively have five heroes here. Space Beyond John said that's pretty deep. I can't really punish it, not yet anymore. Dubu going instead on Ice There's Max Dodge. He's on up on Blake as well. Tornado will flip Ice Sight. They have the Canic Offering. Will they get it off in time? Yes. Doesn't hit anybody though, no real disables coming out on Ice solo. The Magnetize not bringing him down, but Dubu plays or gets played into by Shadow, but QO goes to the work. Sonic Wave coming in, flips on to two, neck back up, MVP running everyone over, and like, might be next for dead, it's a double kill. They're coming just out completely out finessing wings in the fight, never getting hit by the Chaotic Offering, juking by all the big ultimates, catching them out one by one. Even though Wings had five, it didn't feel like it lost. Face Beyond 2 might go down. Tornado from SP. There's the fairy fire though. Face Beyond trying to man up, and the goal of gets the double kill. Wings that they will at least get a couple in retaliation, LD. Power not showing themselves in that war towards the, the jungle. And MP and MVP might not He wants mind. to go in. Yeah, they want to go for the high ground. The smoke is broken. There's the dream coil. The gust on it too as well. Lots of damage coming out. There's the gold on top. MP might fall first. Duo, he's got the agent. Maybe he needs to worry about that second life. Now the Sonic Wave coming through as well. And they'll take down three. Blink gets the double, but Kyo, here he comes. Looking for Ice Ice. Gets the crit, but it's not enough damage. Kyo, he's getting kited. He can't do this on his own. And Face Beyond comes in and finds another Kill. What a terrible choke point for MVP to fight into. They're walking up a cliff without vision into a Puck, a Warlock, and a Queen of Pain. So mean wings for now. Uh, and for Wayne, they really struggle to fight when they're either not. Oh, hold on. They call Blink again. They got the and Dubu should fall to the Shadow Strike. It looks like he will go down. The Gust is up, and now Duo. They just blow up towards And now Shadow might be in trouble here. He's been left alone. They try to burst him. Oh, baby. Barely escapes. They relocate him in, but the Io dies in. Always reliably face shift blink out. Warlock, once he drops his ult, doesn't care too much if he dies. Wings, though, on the move. Smoke up, face beyond looking to jump in. He's gonna find the way to grip the Lucio Arc. There's the scream, MP will fall. They're relocating Shadow as well. Dubu now, he's gonna try to roll out. He will vacuum wall. Nicely done, but there's no fall up coming out. It's forever caught by that dream ball. Scream of pain, Shadow Strike, two down, and they might hit the third, although. The Io dies to the Drow Ranger Illusion. QL looking to come in, but where's his opening? Debbie about to go down. and. Actually surviving now with the Fate Zeta coming through. That push Radiant's coming in. Grab. Debbie has attack. to use that, that Oracle ultimate just to stay alive. That Chaotic Offering doing some good work, but not enough to bring down the Oracle. Two for one trade though, LD. So the coil's ready. They need a kill, like you said. Uh, this smoke might be broken by Fate Beyond if they walk up in the wrong direction. Great positioning to break a smoke by him. And a very loose <laughs> hero as well. But they're gonna go elsewhere. They're looking for Shadow and they might find him. They jump in. He's gonna get caught, but there's the BKB. Wall dropped out, but no vacuum. There's gonna be real kit in from Innocent. Dubu gets crushed by the right click. Can't call for Yelper. Ice Ice is low. We'll go down to the purifying flame. So far, one for one exchange. Duo now. BKB's up. The Sonic Wave goes right through it, but he will at least get the eye. Now try to man up against Shadow. It's not enough, LD. He goes down. The most important hero. For MVP has fallen. He did it. He's too squishy. Didn't have the help of the Oracle in that fight. Now they're looking for more. The Invoker on the run. Wings, though, no detection. That he gonna have to use again that Oracle ulti. But they're flanking with Shadow. Yeah. I'm in there's the Dream Claw blink. Low on mana, but boy, does he blow up after that Oracle ulti. It is done. It's gonna be, I think, three going down for MVP, I believe. Yeah, they've chosen to approach the game. Invoker being behind the majority of the game. Not great for us. Caught Dream Coil. And he's guarding Dream immediately. Vacuum all in. Nice damage. Dubu misses the Boulder Smash. Sonic Wave will go out and grab. Looks like he will fall for it. He'll jump in. BKB from Blink, and it looks like he'll back away. Dominating spree. Not sure how much the MVP want to go forward here, but they will. Duo jumps in. He goes for the BKB. It is just barely alive. The Chaotic 
Magic Offering, keeping him up, but now Kyo jumps with another Phantom Strike will find the kill. Blink away from Blink of the Claw, Bevy. But he's That's running. Crazy. I thought Kyo only knew one direction, and that was forward. Kyo, wrong way, buddy. Almost going down the Oracle ulti, keeping him alive. That false promise, but Bevy will get his life for it. Kyo backing up into the base. They're going for it. Beats the odds in. He wants to move. Gets the waiting ripped off. And one more right click. Gets the kill. The tornado is up. We might get caught. Faith Beyond will just walk out now. Underneath the guys, the tier Dying three tower. Great fight for Wings again. They take the tier two and they're knocking on the Dying door of the tier three LD. Oh, building falls quickly Dying against this draft mod. Really nice play by Shadow there. Four staffing the IO back. Sure, the IO dies, but it just wastes more time for the PA's precious BKB seconds. Wings are Dying winning the. Oh, or even the Silver Edge. It's the butterfly he wants. He knows that right click. It's, it's gonna be able to bring him down. This is the better pushing item with the illusions to benefit from the black pretty smoke will break. You are walking up, they're looking for Faith Beyond in phase shift, but now Shadow Gust up. Full snap coming out. Look at how long Kyo is holding his BKB. He's gonna finally jump in, looking for Shadow, but there's the hurricane like now the cannon offering up for Exotic Way. See you later. MP will be able to force his way out. Kyo pops the BKB, but they can bring him down. Ice Ice, Max up, stays alive. There's the Fortune Den, but Kyo now getting laid into the right click. He has paid some strikes away, but one more, and that'll do the job. Four dead for MVP again. Debbie, the only survivor he wants innocence, and it's a small consolation prize if he can get it. But the Glimmer Cape saves innocent lives. And they are going for the buildings. They're going for the tier three. They are going for it. It's over, Mon. Wings have completely Dyer's shut down MVP's aggression. The train stops Air. here. MVP are going to have to figure something else out. You knew the fight was going to be hard for them when PA spends his entire BKB trying to kill a warlock who's already dropped Bolo. Can't even get that kill. Wings just completely crushed MVP. Duo could not stay on target. He was looking for at first that Drow Ranger, but the Hurricane Pike came out and it was so tough for him to find any real particular target to hang on to and try to kill. So the Phantom Assassin, which was so successful earlier on in this tournament, hit up and Link will have to be very careful with how he approaches the high ground. Febby now with three stacks, drops the sentry down. He might actually be in trouble. Febby's low, four stacks, six up, but now blocked by the creep wave. Will survive. Blink in trouble. One more right click. It's the dagger that does it for Duo. Meanwhile, Innocence, he did end up going for the kill on poor Ev. He couldn't quite get it. Missed on the kinetic field. And now, Mr. 17% in the house. Oh, he gets the best to stop the TP. And Innocence will fall. Double bash there, secures the kill. Oh, these are the kinds of mistakes that can come back to haunt you against them. This canceled Ice Ice won't end up coming to that top lane. His mid lane Feppy is still stalking and trying to Oh, the scan found him. Link is gonna get caught by another crit, the stifling dagger, and the stop will not save him. Well, Feppy and QO will take some tower hits. Uh, they should be fine for now, but Feppy continues the chase on Ice Ice. He will stay underneath that tier one tower. And again, the aggression, the dive not punished by wings. Even dropping the ward now, Febby making great use of the bounty hunter. They would love to kill the Batrider when he goes back to farm stacks. He's had a really rough lane. They're going in again, diving the stop will come out. No, stop by the shuriken from Febby. Oh dear. Wow. The MVP is happening. Meanwhile, Pop is beyond. He's next, he has to drop the chrono. I don't know if he can stay here, and he's not doing nearly enough damage to MP, but Shadow's gonna come in. Omnisight doesn't bounce to MP. Dubu will try to keep you away, and they have to get the badge, and they will. Face beyond walked up. But the they're right flanking. Right. Febby's already here, Mop. That's the sentry down. Febby, Omnisight, he's gonna get caught again, but the mech keeps him alive. Turn around, Shadow, Blade Fury, not there. Can't get the kill. The stop, however, setting up a grab, but here comes the charge, and it is it's already low. Nether Strike coming through, Eyesight taking that damage. Vacuum in, on you two, getting a crab, a double kill. And now they see Blink, they can get a third. Gonna try to chase him down, Earthshock should be there. MP really wants this, the Firefly, he misses the Earthshock. Duo looking for the Phantom Strike, he gets it, but no stifling dagger to follow up, and they're out of vision. They do Good. have a great shadow. They have a dash in them, Dubu can't find it. Then they'll turn their eyes for Shadow, he will play Fury away underneath at Tier 1 Tower. I don't think they saw it. He's gonna go to the ancient stack. And that's a really important point. There is just no vision for Wings right now on their side of the map. It's all pop. So they're not really able to farm much. They might get caught here, Mott. Smoke. Innocence will be the first to be caught. MP jumps right in. Good set and storm, though, still. Innocence will fall to a track kill. Chrono only onto one. Is Faith Beyond, though, he wants MP. There's the Enrage Command, the last of Femi. 
will surely fall first. MP might be second, but coming in is duo. MP somehow still alive, but finally falls. Vacuum is basically a time walking way. Nice blink dagger, they're diving underneath the tier three. Omni slide comes through, but it's not enough. Stop on top, is it? Can they get the kill? Dubu is low and finally will fall. MP might be next. He already lost his age, and Sierra's got will not help him. And Wake turns three. That was fighting around the Aegis timing. Those are the two big factors that will keep MVP's aggression in check for now. But 4F has the blink. I think we saw that in the last fight. So there is some combo potential with that vacuum into 4-5 hero charge. Can set up for a really strong team fight. Charge in, Shadow will blade Fury. Again, if they want to fight, they have to play up. Here's two flip static storm. Can be found yet again. Stop killed. Down to 35 and the chrono top. You are Omni slides to death. No looking for more. Charge away. Not yet. Surge through from Perez. You will at least walk out. Blink into the tree line for Perez. Jump in. Pantheon gets the back. You move on. Can they bring him down before he turns down? No. That's stop. It will catch him. Oh, beautifully done from eyesight. It will fall. It'll be a third kill going to Wings. They just keep getting more and more out of this game, LD. They done with this agent. Multiple core kills, ideally. Take that tier two mid. Try to bottle up Wings a bit. But look at the spread from Wings. It's the same thing as last game, Mod. He is diving in. He wants to kill his vacuum wall. Stab storm on top of the boss and it's in front of him. On to the ice splitter. It does beautiful work. The Yachty slides in there. And MP will fall. At least he enrages. To stay alive for now. The blade three will come through and the rage is done. It's going to be three dead for MVP. It looks like it's duo now. Look at the up and the time walk is there. Aegis is down. Can they bring him down a second time? Duo stopped up perfectly time for my insight. Double kill. Shadow is godlike. And MVP bit by bit there getting dismantled by wings. You know, I remember when Ice Ice was confused constantly with Ice from Malaysia, Ice with Ice Ice, Ice from Singapore. Z coming in from wings. We'll see. MVP can set something up here. They might just back away, but no, it looks like they're setting the trap. Maybe we'll walk up first, break the smoke. Now he's gonna get caught. There's the last of Proto Sphere on MP. DKB's not there, the static from default as well. Third splitter, he's low. Pops the BKB in the array. How much longer can he survive? The answer is not much, because he's down for 56. Dubu looking to at least get the nether strike, but it's just not enough damage. Faith beyond getting the double kill. Wings. And they're not done yet. Shadow walking up, looking for more. gas if it doesn't work out. Pots are doing this 4v5 with no track gold. Even if they win, how much gold will they really get out of the fight? Ice Ice is isolated, and he is going to get caught. Heather strike back and back in. Ghost Scepter coming in. And the throttle on to two. Earth Splitter to follow up. MP set score. He will fall to you all. Goes down as well. MVP about to lose everything. It's a massacre, Mott. They can't stand against Wings. Even when they 4v1 Don't find the Elder Titan. Like, wow. Oh, they see the void, I think. They have the crack. crack up. Those are them. Help manage it off. Is he going to try for an Ace of Snipe mod? He's pretty far away. He's using time walk. Charges up, gets the bash out of him. He just wants to kill the bounty hunter. It's the Chrono. I don't think he's finished off, but he can get the kill on MP. He can't get Chrono. He can't get the kill onto the Earth. Charges for Duo, though. Duo is low. Has to finish off the throw shot. It's low. Will Kyo get the agent? Absolutely. He'll pick it up. Spin beyond an ice. They actually eat the cheese on Kyo and he's going for innocent. But again, no way to stop that ghost scepter. Back you back. They now will be able to bring him down. Three still dead. For Wings and Chase Beyond on half health. Pops the Manta. Going for Dubu and we'll find. Him. He's he going in. Double and face beyond. Can he do this on his own? Forever and Sebi both low. This thunder there. He's out of mana. Diffuse the play going to work. And forever about to fall. Can he get it? There it is. The gems on the deck with face beyond. One more right to steal. We'll get it done. And it looks like he makes it out. Are you serious? Face beyond. Oh my God. How is he still alive? They're going to go back in for QO with the BOT. They might lose the B as well. QO. QO. The edge is gone. Five dead. Can they get the second kill? Who the goes in there? He won't get stunned up with the bash. And he's gonna jump in. He wants he wants to get face beyond, but he can't find it. He is he's gonna fall. He's gonna fall twice. He's gone twice. Only Waynes would actually take that fight. They're 3v5. They're up a lane of rags. They're up 15. In their base. No face rush anymore. Like he's looking for that last one. He'll find it. He will now find it. Chrono on two, Duo will fall, no, he gets out, the BKB, but he's still barely alive, the Static Storm, the BKB will keep him alive. Dubu though will fall, the Earth Splitter MPs from the void, and now he's looking, looking for innocent, gets the Vista bladed up, he's losing his mana so quickly, he will go down, he's got buyback and he might have to use it, Duo. 
Back at the base, they're going for the tier four. That's it! Wait to secure top three. And MVP will go down to the losers bracket, LD. They are quickly becoming the C deck of CI. Didn't come through the wild card, but Vaughn, this team kind of came out of nowhere about six to six months ago. Nobody knew who Wings Gaming was. They weren't doing anything particularly impressive. They would take games off top teams, but they had never proven it prior to this event, yet to get it done on a big stage. But here they